Hi, good morning, everybody. Okay, so <laughs> welcome back uh, to United Cambodian Communities uh, Community Ambassador Network Group. Um, so my name is Sayon Cypressuth. I'm here as a program manager and, uh, and educating our community about COVID-19 and the vaccine resources. And I have here, uh, why don't you introduce yourself and your title? Let's go with Michael first. Hello there. I am uh, I am Michael So, and I am a community network worker, a master worker. Yes. Latia, do you want next? Hi, my name is Latia Anderson, and I am a community ambassador network worker. And Ming Chanta. Hello, everybody. My name is Chanta Rose. I'm worker at UCC. And hello, everybody. My name is Saturn, and I am the uh, program coordinator at UCC. Okay, I'm excited to have you all here again, uh, providing information to our community here in Long Beach uh, and Cambodia Town. Um, so let's talk about still the the uh, and how should one uh, conduct themselves around COVID nineteen still, and then we'll go into the vaccine resources. Um, so if, if anybody can just jump in, uh, so what are you what are you doing for yourself to to pre uh, to avoid prevention the contraction of uh, COVID nineteen and and your this is within your family and your community how are you protecting yourself? Uh, I've been washing my hands more frequently. What were the wore the mask out whenever go outside. And then you just take six feet away from people during outside events. So yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Still continuing that. Um, how about you, Latia? And just still keeping cautious and um social dis distancing. If I'm going out, it's a doctor's appointment or to the grocery store. Other than that, just making sure that I have my mask. If I am going out, if I make sure that I have my gloves, my hand sanitizer, everything with me, and still practicing social distancing if I am going out. Mm -hmm. Yep, and Ming Chan Ta. You yes. can speak in Khmer. Okay, yes. And Satan can explain, okay. uh, translate, yes. and then if you'd like to share as well. Yeah, some of you could ban and Young um, Yes, so I will uh, translate what Ming Chanta has uh, been um, uh, sharing. So for her, she's been um, telling uh, friends, her, her friends, her families, and her acquaintance. Um, to not gathering together in large group only within the family members only and to be six feet apart um, if you go out in public to um, clean the surface that has been touched um, frequently and um, to uh, washing hand so all of those um, COVID protocol safety protocol okay all right. Uh, thank you. Yeah, it's all very uh, similar as far as the um, updates go. Um, I'm going to share screen real quickly. So just this is the number so far from the city of Long Beach. Um, so we have the status with COVID-19 as of February 2nd. Uh, we have uh, 40, 
just almost so a little over 48,000 cases. You can see this image, right? Uh, and we had 294 people hospitalized for this and 679 uh, deaths. And as, as of January, the deadly, uh, that was the deadliest month so far because uh, 245 people lost their lives and then 150 in December. Um, the, so these are the images that you are seeing with um, what the vaccine test, uh, not test, the vaccine uh, implementation looks like. Um, and that, so that brings me up to a, uh, I know uh, I've gotten my first vaccine about two weeks ago at the, from the Long Beach Health Department. And so, so let's go into the, the vaccine and who has, who's gotten shots and who has not. And perhaps uh, if you have concern around uh, what your fears are, perhaps you can address that. And um, so, so maybe let's talk about who's got their first shots. Um, <laughs> so Ming, you had your first shot, right? And how yeah. did you feel? Uh នៅពេលលើនេះស្ទួនមិននៅជឿដៃនៅឡើយគឺនៅជឿសាច់ដុំនេះម្ដងម្កាលហើយតែអឺស្រីទឹកខ្លាំងគឺយើង um, let me explain what she has said. So um, after the first vaccine, she uh, up until now, she still feel like uh, muscle sore on the arm that um, she had it uh, because she was uh, she thought maybe because she was not having like time to rest after the uh, art. Okay. Um, yeah. So for me too, my first vaccine, I uh, I did not feel the shots going in at all. The needle was so small for with the, the one I got. I got Pfizer, um, and then the the nurse, the male nurse that came up, and he was just kind of you know barely touching my left arm, and then when he did it, and then I was waiting for the needle <laughs> uh, to go in. And I said, is it done already? He goes, oh, yep, it's done. And he was really proud of himself. Um, but I didn't feel any pain. Um, but for me, I was, um, uh, I, I felt a little uh, like a flu-like symptom for two days after that. Uh, but I was still fine, you know? I mean, it was a very mild symptom. Um, and, and then, but my arm was sore for a while, I want to say maybe four days. Um, but uh, and then a after that, it was fine. How about you, Satun? You had yours, right? So when I had my first shot, um, like a couple hours after the shot, uh, my arm was a little bit sore, numb, uh, like heavy, and then muscle ache. Um, towards the night like uh, about five or six hours like into the sh well I, I got it in the morning so at night time I was feeling feverish um, I did not measure my temperature but I felt like I feel like uh, I'm coming down with a fever but I did not take any medicine at all and I was not sleeping well into the night but the next day I was st still feeling a little bit like still like fever, but then after 24 hours passed, it was okay. I mm -hmm. was back to normal. For the second shot, it was still feeling the same way as the first one, but it's just a little bit stronger than the first one. But other than that, it's okay. Um, mm -hmm. I got to check my temperature on the second uh, shot that I had. It was 98.9. Uh, 
and in the morning um i got the tylenol to help me so i was feeling refreshed uh, the mm -hmm. next day mm -hmm. great um yeah it's it's yeah there, there's a little bit of that with uh different people uh some people have the soreness a little longer um and uh and the flu-like symptom and the body aches it varies um, slightly yeah uh, so can i just add can i just add just uh for um Leti and michael to um have um um some um insight from uh from like the older adult like my father he's 70 something years old and then he has some uh, pre-existing condition he has heart disease he has hepatitis C and mm. he has his gallbladder removed. Mm. He, he, he has Alzheimer's disease also. So, but I still um, bring him uh, to get the first shot and he was feeling just slightly fever. Um, but then because du during this time, it's like um, winter season. So like the weather is keep changing, like, daytime is hot nighttime is cold so the symptom is like feverish he's shivering then we gave him uh, Tylenol and he was feeling okay for a couple of days and this morning he just got his second uh, dose Ooh, so good. we are still monitoring his health condition but we are expecting like him to come down with some fever like just like the first time other than that nothing serious yeah so what's the um so what have you been hearing this is for everybody but uh, uh what are you hearing throughout the community that you work with uh, around the concern around get, getting the vaccine and perhaps for yourself as well yes yeah, so what i have been hearing about the vaccine is that this vaccine is new so people are a little bit skeptical on getting it but from what i've been hearing from people who have received their first dose and from my own experience from my family's experience i will um i will recommend uh, people to get the vaccine as soon as you can because that will help you protect from the virus if you were to get contracted with COVID, it will make it less severe than people who doesn't uh, receive the vaccine or, or, or you don't even have any symptom at all. And that's, con uh, that's for both Mod Moderna and Pfizer because my family, some of my family's members have Moderna, some have received Pfizer and the symptoms are um, all alike it's just a uh, fever it's depending on your body some have fever for just one day some might be two or three days depending on how you endure it but other than that it's nothing else mm -hmm. what about latia and michael have you heard any anything uh, from the community or concerns that you perhaps want to share? Oh, just a bit of a concern, shit. I was like reading the old news. Like, like the, the news was on time ago, but there was a healthcare worker who uh, had a vaccine and then he, uh, uh, he ceased actually, but like they're still kind of researching why he, uh, he died actually. So I was a bit worried about like, I'm not sure what, what caused it, so. Okay, yeah, I think, uh, was it the doctor? Was he a um, doctor? Well, was it the guy at in Irvine that you mentioned, Michael? Because I, it, is it like a month ago, or something like that? Uh, I haven't, I, ha I have actually, hold on a second, let me, yeah, because if it's, it actually. if it's the case that uh, happened in Irvine, he was a radi radiologist in like, um, technician, 
and he received his second dose and for some reason he had medical emergency and then he walked from uh, from where he worked because he worked in the hospital so he walked uh, his colleague walked him to the emergency room so to check on him but they still investigate on how uh, some of yeah it's it's healthcare workers the second dose so this is somehow related to uh, they still investigate on if there are any like underlying health condition that he has that trigger that so but if you are looking at the percentage of people taking it it is very low like only one percent not even one person because so far like around united states people get vaccinated about i don't know maybe more than uh, almost a million already and then uh, if you reading some of the news that uh, happened in washington state there's a, a there's a woman who is about 90 years old she couldn't even get the vaccine so she walks six miles in the snow just to go get the vaccine so this is some of the story that 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 can help um, people like if the vaccine is available in your area take advantage of it so look at the look at the place where there are scars so people are even like lining up to get it so so yeah it's um mm -hmm. yeah just investigate into a little bit more either the health uh existing condition for yourself and the allergies that perhaps you may have um mm -hmm. there, there's more information out there for um that professional doctor and scientist are talking about so the, so get those information for yourself so you can be comfortable uh around it okay and then one of the uh, one uh, the other way that you can check is talk to your doctor talk to mm -hmm. your talk to your doctor the pros and cons of having those vaccine and then you can wait on it and according to um, that topic that michael was sharing um, remember even his wife it's still recommending people don't dis don't get discouraged with this news to get vaccinated because his wife still get vaccine uh the second dose still mm. yeah so yes yeah, so um i so this weekend i'm gonna get my second dose as well um <laughs> so i'm looking forward to it uh i know so Tuan, you you got yours i mean you have not had your second one yet right yeah not not yet not yet not okay yet. but Satun, you had yours last week yes i had mine last week last friday okay uh did you get it from the health department or was that at the where was it um i get it from the health department it's at the convention uh, long beach convention center mm. and you know the the good thing is that after the second dose let's say two weeks after the second dose that this is what the scientists um, um, uh, ideas is um, you are you don't even require to get quarantine like two weeks after you get the second dose it is building your Im the immune system in your body already so you don't you don't even need to do the quarantine um yeah so so there there are benefits to it um by uh you still have to protect yourself you know when you're around others because you could still be carrying the the COVID 19 virus uh, after you get your vac vaccination um so uh i know uh, according to studies that it's been um shown that it's it's things are opening up more because people are getting uh wearing protections facial protection and keeping safe distancing as well as getting the vaccine um so we are also going to share the um the vaccine link uh for the community in in the chat below 
Uh, so then this is for the health department through Long Beach. And then it's gonna ask you list of questions, uh, whether you had your first uh, vaccine yet or not. And then if this is gonna be your second one. And then there's also a lot of questions around um, uh, your health condition as well. So uh, for, I know for the community, uh, there's gonna be the first dose uh, of vaccine coming up uh, at MacArthur Park. And so if you want some information on that, um, you could give our office a call. The number is 562-999-1755. Um, um, the, the dosage there is limited as well, um, but then we will also inform you uh, when there's more shots coming up. Okay. Um, all right, so this is coming uh, to an end with our meeting. Um, uh, so how do you feel? What are you guys looking forward to for lunch? <laughs> it's lunchtime. So Jan, I want to know about your zip code, zip code in Long Beach, um, one, two, nine, or What's the zip code? Okay, so so um some new I get that means. Chang Su zip code Long Beach. Okay, so uh, Long Beach zip code has um I think has ten nine district. I, I I don't remember, but um the zip code that the most Cambodian people live in is nine zero eight one three. Nine zero eight zero six, nine zero eight zero four. So nine zero eight, it start by nine zero eight. Sometimes it's zero, sometimes it's mm -hmm. one. So it can be nine zero eight ten. It's still in Long Beach too. Yeah. Uh, well, what zip code you asking me? Um, in Clay and Manet, what now the zip code? Um, yeah, it's 90813. That's called Central Long Beach. Mm. Yeah, that's my dumb plug. Yeah, that's it's Yeah, okay. បាទមកខែយ៉ាងម៉េចហ្នឹងគឺគេអត់តាមទទួលក្នុងការផ្លាយទេយ៉ាពីព្រោះនៅពេលដែលយើងដាក់ចូលទៅក្នុងអាអា
let after this meeting. Um, yes, yes, yes. Let's talk after. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, you guys. So have a good lunch. It's almost twelve o'clock, uh, and we will talk to you. Uh, let me know if you have questions, but we will talk to you again later this week. Okay. Um. So tuân nâng nhà li chu mua nâng mỏi miếng nâng non. Co ta lưng yết nâng cha cha nâng hay nâng mũi tiết um mong về đại từ từ bữa kịch can nâng non gì gì nâng nâng đã chọn mà chỉ mua phòng nhé. Ah mong về nâng to ta sẽ ai bàn dương nâng bị phù dương bị chôm nhé mình nhé cha cha cha. Ai à nhóm communicate chỉ muốn mình nhờ tàu lên rồi. Yes. Okay. 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 All right. You all can leave now. Bye, Michael. Bye, Latia. Bye, Ming Chanta. Leave meeting, Chang Ming. Yeah. Okay. Bye. You can stop recording.